So here I have a logarithmic equation that has some mixed terms. I've got logarithms, as you can see on the left and right, and then I've got a number, just negative 11. That's not a log at all. And we're trying to think about how to solve this thing. Remember the first step. You always want to isolate your logarithmic terms. So what you can do is add, uh, say, add this term to the other side. That would work fine, but there's actually a shortcut I want everyone to see in this. Um, this term in particular right here, if you took, take a look at it for a moment, you'll realize there's something kind of strange going on. It's log base 5 of 5 to the 27. Okay, this is an inverse property of logarithms. And I just want to remind you guys of this. When you have log base b of b to the c power, what's that equal to? Well, it's always going to be equal to c. This is one of the basic properties of logs. And if you think about it for a second, you can see why. b to the c equals b to the c. This is a bit like saying 1 equals 1. So if I want to rewrite this equation, I could say negative 4 log base 5 of x equals, well, what's, what's this thing? Log base 5 of 5 to the 27. Just look at this equation. You'll see that is equal to 27. We still have that minus 11. And this becomes a lot easier to simplify now. So we have, uh, well, what's 27 minus 11? That's uh, 16. So divide each side by negative 4, and you get log base 5 of x equals 16 over negative 4 is negative 4. And now we're going to turn this into an exponential and say 5 to the negative 4 equals x. And you can leave that as a solution. If you want, you could write it as 1 over 625 equals x, right? These are equivalent statements, uh, and that's the solution. Now, in this one, we kind of had a a cheap little shortcut because this was a very simple logarithm. Um, let's do another example where it's not quite so simple. 3 times log x minus 3 equals 6 times log of 4. Well, now there's nothing to just wipe away, right? We, we have to deal with these things as they are. And what I would suggest doing is try to get a log on both sides that you can use logarithmic equality on. And Right now, that's not the case. I've got 3 log on one side, 6 log on the other. So let's uh, divide both sides by 3. OK, log of x minus 3 equals 6 over 3. That's going to be 2. 2 log of 4. And I still want to get logarithms by themselves if I can on both sides. So let's try doing, uh, well, we can use the power rule of logarithms. Say log of x minus 3 equals log of 4 squared. And now look, I've got a logarithm on both sides. So what that means is I can just come along and cross those things out like this and continue on with my problem. x minus 3 equals 4 squared. Or in other words, x minus 3 equals 16. And that gives me x equals 19. So two different techniques here. This one worked by logarithmic equality because I didn't have any extra numbers, right? It was just a log and a log. And I could kind of uh, work those until they were equal logs on both sides. This previous one had a number, this minus 11, so logarithmic equality wasn't going to work in that case.